English because my Russian from the old days of Yapianyev uh, <laughs> are a little bit, a little bit outdated. So, who, obviously, all of you have heard about GDGs because you are here today. But who of you heard about GDGs before the fest? GDG or GDA? Yeah, quite a, quite a few body here in this. <laughs> so, you know, the, there is basically like a bad news and good news coming from Google. Uh, I'm not a Googler, I work with Google. And the bad news that Google is sending us is something like this. They say, Google developer days, they are nice, but they are not about you guys. They are about us, they are about Google. And they are about things which we think that are right for you. So, it takes us lots of energy, lots of resources, so Google says, you know what, we are not going to do Google Developer Days anymore like they were in Moscow and Prague. So that's very bad news, but the, the good news is that Google says, but we are going to support you to do the events the way that you want them, about the topics that you're interested in, with people, I just saw Alexei back there, from the community who know the stuff best. So Google says, we are going to support you guys and GDGs to produce events like the fest. So that's why we are here today. And that's pretty much what GDGs are here for. It's, uh, it's like a platform, it's like a playground, it's like a sandbox where people like Vladimir and the whole crew here come and play. And it's open, uh, it's open to everyone. Which is, some of you <coughs> do not know about GDGs, but how many of you have cats? Cats are yeah? yeah? I thought more. What kind of animals do that? Alligators? Lizards? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, working, working in GDGs, it's like, it's like working with cats. And as Vladimir said, I've had a privilege to make most of the mistakes than everybody else because I'm involved with GDGs since 2007. And I found that on the platform that we play, it's like playing with cats. Because what, what are cats? Tell me some characteristics of cats. <laughs> Lazy. They're lazy. <laughs> we developers, you know, sometimes they say lazy developer, good developer. The best code is no code. <laughs> right? So, get some. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what other characteristics can you say? Uh, They're elegant. Yeah, you know, as I, as I look at the crowd here, you guys look pretty good, and the girls look even better. So, we are elegant, maybe not necessarily in the physical sense of the word. But, you know, intellectually, we are misses of the whole world, so. so we are elegant. What else? Fun. Cats love fun. You know, developers love fun as well. When you compare, you know, the formal events of some of the corporations, events like this, and this is very informal, this is mostly about having fun, about talking about cats on stage, like, do this on Microsoft, they will shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> what other characteristics of cats? Always want to eat. They always want to eat. <laughs> Developers all of us have to have some, some brain power. Like if you watch Alexei sitting over there, he's playing the Rubik's Cube. You know. All of us you know, wants to have some intellectual food for thought. And so, very independent. And, and exactly, and very independent. And that's exactly like when we work with GDGs together. And if you work with GDGs, it's like working with herds of cats. It's like herding the cats. It's really difficult. So, we actually found GDGs, and I'm telling you that not just to spread the word about GDGs, because I'm telling you I found these principles about working with cats to be very useful in any work you do. It can be a work in your company, in your startup, it can be a work uh, about how to get people excited about your product. Many of you might hear an Android application or a small uh, company doing a product, so how do you get people excited? In GDG, we get excited based on the triple Fs. And I'm really proud because I, I sort of designed the triple F metaphor yesterday with the GDG crowd here when we were thinking ourselves, so what is GDG really about? And we found out the three Fs. So the F number one is fun. What GDGs are about, it's not work for us. Like the moment that it starts being work, I always tell my colleagues, you know, go and do something else with this. This is not work, this is fun. If you want to come on such a day, organize some event like this. This must be fun for you. So it's about passion, it's about fun, it's about things we love. So if you love technology, if you love Google technology, if you are really passionate about it, I got this colleague, her name is Alishka, and I call her on the phone, and I say goodbye. Well, she doesn't say goodbye. She says, be Google with you. She's <laughs> <laughs> really passionate, so the GDG is a good place for her. The second F, 
it's friends. We don't do stuff for ourselves. We are friends in, in GDG. I wonder how many beers I've already had with Vladimir. Don't say Vladimir. Uh, we are friends with you guys here. We are friends with people in Google. So it's all about connecting people, which is a little bit difficult sometimes for developers. I'm a developer myself. I used to be heavily introverted person. But you know, I found out that meeting other cats, it's, it's really something that I like. And the, thir no, the third F, and again, you can take this into your work anywhere, it's freedom. We are completely, almost free, to do whatever we want. And the almost relates only to the values we are organized about. So it's about freedom, it's about independence, it's about doing stuff for others. So whatever we design about these principles, that's fine, let's do it. So we are free in this sense. We are free in the sense that Google does not dictate to us what we should do or we should not. Sometimes we use the metaphor of a girlfriend, like Google is our girlfriend. I'm not necessarily meaning Siat sitting by there, but <laughs> the zombie relationship is, is very intimate in a way. Yet, it's, it's very free. So our girlfriend doesn't make us to do anything, and we don't force Google to do anything. Also, we don't have any boss, like Vladimir, even though he looks very impressive. <laughs> he's, he's not a boss here, and I'm not the boss of the worldwide GDGs. We are all like a network hierarchy, basically. So it's like a multi-dimensional organizational chart, I would say. And again, that's uh, another, another freedom we've got. So that's, a, that's the third thing that I personally really like on GDGs and I help GDGs around the world. How to actually live as a free people in a, in a free sort of structure. So that's what GDG is about. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So I have no idea what's going on. And what's <laughs> so maybe he wants me to have a dance here. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah? Maybe David, you got it? So Vladimir, we just finished. So now you can have your skill, skill back. Uh, I will be around here guys today, so if you, if you would like to chat about GDGs in the world or in Ukraine, feel free to have a chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.